It's six o'clock in the morning, Woo. and David El Jefe is getting ready to start the second season of Pilot Traders with a good cup of coffee and some trading. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm in the market already. I already got a couple trades in. With a difference of two hours between local and Eastern time, and some important activities programmed for today, the father and son team must start early. Equities, I have not. So we're done trading today. We got season two coming up for pilot traders. So we're gonna right now head over to Ogden Airport, pick up the aircraft and fly her down to Salt Lake City at Flight Deck Avionics. And I already called Matt over there. He's waiting for us. So we can bring the airplane down. Sweet. You ready for it? Yeah, let's go fly. Let's make it happen. And for everybody out there, for season two, check out everything that's gonna be happening. Subscribe, get the notifications, ring the bell. After some transactions on the market, the team have to change mode from traders to pilots and fly November 3-1 Charlie Romeo, the Caribbean Spice, from its home in Ogden to the Salt Lake International Airport where the team of Flight Deck Avionics will overhaul the entire panel of the plane, replacing the instruments with some of the most advanced flight computers, navigation systems, autopilot, and radios. What do you think of that, though? I think that, that looks good. It does. Yeah. Uh, 3 one Chai Romeo is going on a huge project, right? We're going to be redo the, the whole flight deck, pretty much. Yep, putting glass panels in it, make it look nice, update it. So glass panels for th those non-aviation uh, people means digital panels um, that instead of going with the regular round dial gauges, it's going to go into a digital. Um, so we go more into the modern age, and it's going to make it a lot easier to fly the airplane, a lot safer, um, and a lot funner. So it's going to be done for about a month and a half, and then we'll come out here and we'll show you the, the progress on the job that you're doing and how it's doing and, and the complexity of what goes behind one of those panels. There's another airplane here that's not ours, but we'll, we'll take a couple shots so you have an idea of some of the small little wires that goes behind that. Was it like four or five wires, Matt? Uh, times 100. Times 100, huh? <laughs> yeah. Easily. Yeah. So, so Matt does a great job. He's, he's worked in a lot of our aircraft for years, like I said, and, and we trust him 100% to work on our airplane, so we're looking forward to it. <laughs> In preparation for the new and interesting activities the pilot traders have in mind, the plane is going to go through a transformation that will make it nicer and more comfortable for the pilots and their passengers. We've already stripped out the whole interior of that aircraft because we're going to be doing a new interior as well, which is, is they're being worked on right now at our hangar because we're doing our own interior. And that gives Matt an opportunity to have some room to work in and um, actually do the whole panel. So we'll go show you what the panel looks like now, what the airplane looks like now, and then we're going to show you what it looks like when it's taken apart, and then we're going to show you what it looks like when it's put together, and then we'll have the interior on, so you'll see the progression of the aircraft. So on this upgrade, we take these round gauges and we replace them with a glass panel. This is just sticker, but um, so it takes that and gets rid of a lot of instruments. So what we do is we, we rip out all these, take out all the panels, build new panels, powder coat them, put new placards back on them. Um, this one's actually getting an autopilot upgrade also. So we're going to rip out the whole interior and pull the servos. The old autopilot has to come all the way out. All the rigging has to be per the manufacturer's specs. It's a lot of work, takes a lot of time. The progress of the job after about Two days when we have everything gutted, it's gonna look the same until like the last week when we start putting everything back in. The Caribbean Spice will stay in the Flight Deck Avionics hangar for seven to eight weeks while the specialized technicians perform this complex, delicate, and in stages, tedious operation. Meanwhile, in the Utah Airways hangar in Ogden, Utah, Mike and the mechanics prepare some parts of the plane that will be sent out for overhaul in preparation for the annual inspection of the aircraft upon return. We're getting the avionics ready, which is the instrumentation panel. 
we're getting we got to do an annual on it it's come time if you guys remember on one of our episodes we went over through the annual inspection and how we took it apart so that's coming up as well and we just thought well since we're getting ready for a lot of good stuff happening here we're going to redo the whole interior and as you guys know i am a, a, uh, a marine so we decided to do a whole marine scheme of november 31 Charlie romeo inside the aircraft as a matter of fact if you look behind us there's brett can you say hi brett hey guys and brett's working on the interior uh, so come on back here let's take a look at what he's doing and he's gonna kind of explain a little bit of what we've done and what the chairs look like so before it hit here these are actually the chairs from november 31 Charlie romeo we took them apart come over here we took them apart every single piece we've cleaned it up and then uh, as you can see here taking up all the old glue and yeah, stuff taking everything apart all the glue and everything else and we built them back together we repainted the whole structure of it and we've put the foam on them and i'm going to have brett kind of a, explain to you a little bit of how that process worked as he's the one that actually is doing it right brett yeah yeah so uh we've just been building it out the old foam that was in the aircraft was from the 1980s yeah i know old, old old hard didn't feel good so we layered it up with some uh more comfortable modern foam we've got a firm thickness a, and a soft and then we've got memory foam on the outside here so it'll really contour to these guys' bodies as they go flying around the world and having fun there so and then right now we're working on fitting the leather uh, to the actual seat and this was a it's kind of a test piece to see if we can get the the fit a little bit better start working on uh, a little bit of the design and you can see we'll have this beautiful diamond uh, inlay in the center and then uh, we've got some fun uh, marine corps centric uh, stuff happening with it as we uh, build it out that's going to be way way cool that's going to be like what we're thinking of putting the eagle of an anchor right there for the chairs it's going to be really yep. awesome Two weeks have elapsed, and El Jefe and The Apprentice go back to Flight Deck's avionics to see the progress. Yeah, because I'm going to have a six-pack that's backed up. Yeah. The technicians already stripped the panel and started the process of replacing the hundreds of wires and connectors that will be connected to the new sensors and computers that will replace the old ones. This, this is a sensor right here that gives a signal, the signal of the uh, EGT or CHD, CHD being the cylinder head temperature or the EGT is exhaust uh, temperature so now I can get it in there so that's why they're going to replace all these all these uh, sensors so the new system can actually read it properly and then the computers for everything is in here so they're going to replace all the computers for the aircraft Renovation that will include new carpet and upholstery on the Caribbean Spice continues in the two flanks. While Russ, the boggy man, works on the side panels, Brett continues the arduous work of the renovation of the seats. 30 miles away at Flight Deck Avionics, the technicians finish the process of rewiring the entire plane, and the new avionics that will be installed on the plane arrived and are ready to be mounted. This is a removed equipment from the airplane, so the autopilot computer, kind of the engine instrument gauges, um, stuff that we replaced with the glass panels. Um, servos for the autopilot. So every, all the whole autopilot system knew everything was going in. All the cabin chairs are complete, uh, minus the headrests, um, 
and we're finishing up the pilot seats right now and then we're going to be working on and moving on to the sidewalls of the interior with the uh, beautiful Marine Corps uh, theme that we're doing um, and it's turning out really well the uh, red pin striping around the edges of the seat really ties in the, the Marine Corps uniform uh, with it we were able to do a really good job embroidering the Marine Corps uh, logo right into the into the seats and uh, just really 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 pleased with how everything's turning together really coming together well and then for the, uh, the new avionics are installed on the plane and the pilot traders visit Matt to see the final details of the job that means that my uh... so when you flip your de-ice on Okay. That light's going to turn on saying that your envelope protection speeds are different. The Caribbean Spice is still at the Flight Deck's avionics hangar in the Salt Lake City Airport. But it will be transported soon to Ogden, so technicians and mechanics can work on the annual inspection, while Matt and his team finish cosmetic details. For perimeter, mostly for this, and then I believe they have interior something that goes here that was already out, so they must yeah. have had it out there hanging on them. Uh, as you can see, 3-1 Charlie Romeo behind us is uh, all torn apart. Uh, we had just got back from a major avionics upgrade, all new radios, uh, transponder, autopilot, and we're trying to finish up the annual, and that's partially why it's tore apart. But we're also installing a new interior that Brett's making. Uh, we bought the carpet. He's making up all the new seat covers and everything. So, as you can see, pieces everywhere, and we're trying to get it all put back together. I'm freaking excited about this. This is unbelievable. It's freaking awesome. The amount of situa awareness you have with everything is just crazy. It's un it's unreal. The whole setup, and we worked for days trying to figure out this setup here. So as I'm flying, I can see things, especially when I'm in the clouds and I'm IFR. I have to make sure that my my scan is on there where it's comfortable for me to look at. So one of the main main things that I was worried about is I wanted my engine panel, which is this right here. I want I wanted that readily available so I can see you know my power, my RPM, my my fuel flows. I want to make sure my cylinders are good. I have an, enough. Um, uh, enough fuel, uh, I want to, you know, my oil temperature, my oil pressure, fuel pressure, and so forth. But what's really cool about this right here is not only do I have it here, I have it also right in front of me in my Garmin 600 over here, where I can actually see as I'm taking off, I can see my engine instruments as well. And then, of course, we kept the radar. So when we're in the clouds and it's raining, and if we get stuck in a storm, we can actually see precipitation. the precipitation and the hardest portion of that yeah. storm, so we can actually avoid it. I am so, so excited about it. Good. My comfort level in flying has gone up five times with this aircraft because before I was really hesitant in flying into weather and clouds with the instrumentation I had because it was already starting to fail. But I want you to look at the 600 over here. You'll see, you can even see, it will show my terrain. You'll see here like it shows mountains, um, if, if I'm over a lake, it'll show a lake. Uh, as I approach the runway, it'll it'll show the runway right here. Obviously, right now we just got we just got back and we're in the hangar, so it's just showing very minimal stuff. But as you can see, you can see terrain um, as in flying. So it's 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 wow. I'm excited about it. So this new interior was done and created in house, um, as you guys have met Brett before. Um, he we we bought the equipment and he got to it and he learned on how to do this and so we got the best leather and best uh, products to be able to do the interior of this aircraft now granted i'm going to show you a couple of things here but the interior is not complete so from any part of this white on up it's not done so anything from the white below is complete as well as the seats so as you guys know i'm i'm a marine veteran and if you understand or know what a marine blues uniform is we have the trouser with a dark navy blue color which that represents this seat okay and then we have the red stripe around the seat that if you look at the at the blouse of our uniform it has the little red stripe around it what that red stripe symbolizes in the marine corps is uh, in, the, in the civil war when we fought uh, the redcoats if you guys remember your history um, 
the Marines, when the Marines were founded, they didn't have a uniform per se. So when they would kill the red coats, they would grab those red coats, turn them inside out, and inside out was this color. And um, and then that's why you get this a little red stripe around our uniform because that, that is from the outside of that of those red coats. So if you look at the interior here, this is the color of what the trousers would look like, and this would represent the blood stripe right in the middle of the trousers. And then we decided to put these blue stripes on here just to give it that little color contrast that goes along with the aircraft. Also, if you guys remember from other episodes, the cabinets were a lighter mahogany. Uh, like a lighter brownish uh, we completely took those cabinets out and we just redid we got brand new ones we redid it um, more simple cabinets more useful for for us in the cockpit and for people back here so uh, they're they're completed as well as you can see and so I'm, I'm excited and so and I already showed you guys the inside of the cockpit and it's badass I love it I know Francisco likes it it's awesome <laughs> look at that face so i'm excited for season two we have so much happening so much works to show you guys and super stoked super excited keep it fun keep it real change your mindset let's trade let's have fun let's go to concerts Con season two here we go here we come let's make it happen